Hi, this is Sven at Manticore Arms, and today we're going to go over the Maverick Ambi Safety Kit for the Strybog. So we have eight safety levers here, a blank out plate, the central safety shaft, and we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute, two screws, and an Allen wrench. The screws are used to install the safety levers on either side. I'm going to zoom out here now. Okay, you can see everything we've got. So the safety shafts, you get two of what we call the standard. They're basically very similar to an AR-15 style. Same length, same profile. See that? There's two of those. We've got the big one, or the thick one, which you can see stands out farther from the side of the gun. Really good if you've got gloves or need some uh, better manipulation uh, due to, you know, uh, bulky winter wear, whatever it may be. Um, you've got the thin one here just thinner in width. We've got the crankshaft style, or the crank as we call it. It's like an FAL. Goes like that. We've got the scallop, which is essentially a combination between the medium and the thin, where it's medium up front, thin. That's really good under your trigger finger, so you can have the full length of safety, but it doesn't interfere if you've got long fingers. We've got the short, you can see the width is the same as a standard. It's just about a third shorter. We've got the short slim, which is the short length combined with the slim width. And then the blank out plate. The blank out plate, you can see there's a notch here for indicating the positions when the safety switches. Um, that's also on all of the safety levers, that little notch. And the blank out's good if uh, you have maybe a uh, department requirement, if you're using this for official use, that you can't have an ambi safety or um, you just don't want that other side safety and you just want to use a single safety on whichever side you prefer. These levers are interchangeable on both sides. Here's the safety shaft. Now you notice there's a ridge that'll be the left hand side when it's in the gun. You will notice there is a cut here and a cut here. Those are the two detent positions that the detent will lock into. And we'll show you the detent in a minute here. So we have a Strybog lower with the hammer cocked, and we've already removed the safety levers. Um, we removed the safety levers because it can take quite a bit of time to remove it. I didn't want to have five minutes of me struggling to get it out of the rifle, uh, but we'll explain why. So here's the safety shaft with both safeties on it. You'll notice those same cuts where the detent engages. Now you'll notice there's cuts on both sides. That's because there's a detent with a spring on each side. And that's actually how these are retained in the gun, is those detents. So if you can see, without those detents, this is just two pieces that pull out. You could pull it out each side of the gun with no problem. What you've got is what we call, we call, <laughs> it's a little guy, um, the maple leaf detent. So you got that detent and then underneath it, in a hole in the lower is a spring that's pushing that up. And I'll take this apart real quick. What happens is that's grabbing in this area here, but you can see there's a ridge to the side here. What happens is you can't pull these safety levers out of the gun um, as would normally happen if it wasn't in there, you could just pull them out easily. What you have to do is depress this detent down so you can pull this out the side of the gun. And you can usually see the back edge of that when it's in the gun. So right here, we've got the other maple leaf detent in there. We'll put the safety in. And what you're gonna do to remove these, and they'll be obviously together. They're usually a press fit and they stick a bit. So it takes a little work, I'm sorry, there we go. Uh, it takes a little work to get them apart, and that's why we're just taking the time to just skip that part, but explain it. If you want to remove it, you can usually get the back edge of the safety detent back there, press it down, and then slowly you use a little flat blade screwdriver to get behind here and pull this guy out. And then you'll do the same thing with the other side. You also notice the trigger pack is trying to get out of the gun because the safety lever is literally what holds it in and in the back here where that hole is and in the front it's actually the upper receiver is holding that in place 
So we want to be a little careful with that, that it doesn't pop out when we get to work here. So we're going to take our safety shaft here. The ridge will be on the top, kind of like that, you can see. And that'll be the safe position right there. So the flat won't allow your trigger to come up and, and move when it's rotated that way. The flat allows the trigger to come up inside of it and the hammer to drop. So we're just going to take the safety lever and the screw and install that. That'll make it a lot easier to manipulate this when we're getting it into the gun. There we go. And you don't have to go crazy tight. You just want to go snug. If you feel the wrench starting to bend a little, you, you'll get the feel of it. So what we're going to do is take this. I'm going to press it down in to make sure it's not trying to come out. And as I said, hammer's back because if the hammer's not back, the trigger is in a position where it won't allow the shaft to go into the lower. So we're going to do that. And this can be a little bit of a three-handed affair to kind of get everything in there, this, this maple leaf, there we go. So what I'm doing now is getting the lever, there we go, lever into position, pushing it down and then through the hole and you can hear it went click and we're in. So then once it's in position, you'll pick a safety lever of your choice. I'm gonna go with a, a short one here. Rub that in real quick. There you go. He's in good. Okay, goes between positions. All good. And then we're going to hold the trigger in place. When it's on safe, nothing happens. When the arrow aligns with the notch, hammer drops. So you know it's all good. So removing this shaft, if for some reason you need to, you're going to take your right side safety off. Like that. And you're going to flip to about a 45 degree position here. That'll help disengage that detent from its pockets that it normally locks into. And then also make sure the hammer's cocked, as we said, and hold that trigger group down. I'm going to apply pressure with my index finger here, and I'm going to use the Allen wrench to press down that little maple leaf. So we got it started. Come on. And sometimes it'll go halfway, and then you got to give it a little more, a little more to go. Well, this one's being ornery. Sometimes they go, sometimes they don't. Real easy. There we go. Also, be careful. You can see my finger kind of caught the maple leaf there. You don't want that. It could shoot off. We've actually had that happen in the shop, so keep an eye on it. All right, so there we go. Safety lever back out. And that is our Maverick Ambi Safety Kit for the Strybog. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at info, I-N-F-O, at Manticore Arms.